Oh, who do you think is uh, favored in this matchup? Who do I think is favored? I think Scape Shift. Really? They play so... Rug Scape Shift plays so many counter spells. <laughs> really? It's literally like... Yeah. It plays four Remand, four Cryptic, uh, and then out the side he has four Negate, two Dispel, two Disdainful, Excuse me. I think that's right. I saw. I know. I Who saw, heard him? I know. I saw like. <laughs> I saw him playing earlier, and I saw he had three negate in his hand. Oh, he gets two. to play Girl Spiral. Oh yes. But, this is what I want to see. But yeah, I saw him playing earlier, and he had three negate, two remand in his hand, and a dispel. So I and I know he plays at least another dispel in his side. Oh man. So you got a Scrib Ranger from a random... So do you build Birthing Mom? Yes. yes, absolutely. Yeah. I forgot that that card was even modern legal for like the longest time. I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty good. It's going to be good with the new... Uh, it's literally like... if it. W I wish it was an elf. Like, I just want one of the elves that does that. Like, that's all I... Like, you get to play with Step Mom now. You get to play like modern Maverick. Yeah. Here we go. I actually might build that. I have... Two of them there, and then I could probably pick up another if I needed it. But I think two is all I need. But I just sold my wow, Thalia's. You're, actually, you're yeah, Thalia's like not not that important. I know. I'm just sad. I just sold. I had to sell her because I needed to pay rent. <laughs> but you also get Knight of the Relic Quarry, Tyler's Tracker, Ramana Excavator. You just get all these, man. Yeah, I literally have all these cards too, so I can just put it. Tribal Flame Zoo with Savage Knuckle Blade Mantra. Whoever this person is, I like them. <laughs> <laughs> Any deck that plays Savage Knuckle Blade in it, I am, I'm all for Did it. Did you mean three drop tribal? Yeah, three drop really good tribal. Plays play BBE so you can cascade in those. And what is know, like modern Maverick? Uh, Maverick is a legacy deck um, that plays a whole bunch of like green white value creatures, and um, man, it has like mana denial. It has value. It's just yeah. It's basically like a more aggressive taxes. Uh, it, do, it doesn't want to ex necessarily extend the early game as much as it yeah, wants it, to. It's much less of a control deck than uh, Death and Taxes is. So, um, but the the modern variant, you know, I was just saying that you could play like a version of it with um, um, the new Giver of Runes that uh, got spoiled. Is Robert just gonna bolt face? Do we, or do we have a, a something else? No, nah, I think it's just going to... Okay. Man, I like this deck. I also like those sleeves. <laughs> the little Easter bunny dragon thing. Um, but to answer your question about the modern variant, I was just saying that you could probably like make a version of modern of Maverick and modern that's like similar to what the Legacy version does, but um, Phil, you obviously don't get the Stoneforge package. So Phil had it, and it, Phil played like a, a pretty good list. That uh, he did pretty well with here. It was pretty good actually. Nice. He had Scrib Ranger in there, and he had, I think it was main, he had like Dadic Teague in his Collected Company deck. Teague is sick. I'm a huge fan of that card. I mean, but that's just like running Teague in your Green Sun Zenith deck in the Legacy version. Yeah. They also like you also don't have as many powerful lands as you do in the Legacy one, yeah. obviously. But um, like Wasteland is literally. You like don't get <laughs> Wasteland. You don't get Port. You don't get um, Guy's Cradle. Cradle. <laughs> You also don't get the Dark Depths combo if you wanted that. I've seen Maverick mm. play that sometimes, but... Uh, Roberts is looking pretty fine. Yeah, he's he's de he's definitely got the mana advantage here. I, uh, I don't have a list. I was just shooting ideas. Um, he didn't want to play this uh, Valakit so it doesn't get bounced. Um... If we if uh Patrick plays it to fairy, we just go bolt bolt, right? We have bolt, we double bolt. No, we don't. I lied. I thought we had double bolt. I wanna know what I think he might just play the three mana to fairy. I think he has uh, both of them in his hand right now. Mm. Uh Narset. Reman Narset. No thank you, sir. Draw Repeal? <laughs> yeah, repeal. <laughs> Neat. Um <laughs> We can actually kill a Teferi if it lands. Narset. Yeah. You know. uh, he has so many Planeswalkers in his hand. <laughs> Jeez. Probably say yeah and then bolt it. Oh, oh, we have another Reman. I didn't even notice we had another Reman. 
Yeah, just time walk him. Seems good. Uh, shoot you for two, and I'll draw a card. Draw so many Cycle. cards. Cycle this useless card. Oh, uh, I thought he had enough another land so he could grow Sprawler too. Did he just draw another remand? Yeah. <laughs> um, Man, you're right. He does have a bunch of remands in his deck. It's four remands. Is that a surgical? He has a main board surgical? I don't think uh, so. Yeah, he does. Oh, no, Pat Patrick? Patrick, yeah, Patrick has Patrick. a surgical. That's gross. Patrick does, yeah. Uh I think Robert is actually might be playing around that by not playing this. Uh, oh, this kind of sucks that we have to play this other mountain. We we have four mountains out, right? That's a steam vents underneath that uh, one, I think. Can he kill him here? How many lands does he have to play? Seven? No, eight. He has eight lands to play. Nice flooding Filtering growth. for green. <laughs> or filtering for blue, probably. Yep. That's it. Yep. He's uh, making sure we understand that we're filtering for blue. Declared, Declared blue, 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 blue to Twitch chat. <laughs> to Twitch chat. <laughs> yep. Filtering for blue, blue from the flooded grove. I love filter lands because everyone, no one ever sees them. And then whenever we have it on here... People just do say the wrong thing. Like they always. Uh, so get he just mad. found a scape. Oh, he, does he have a scape in his hand already? There was. Yeah. Uh, no. No, he doesn't. But we want to fill our hand with counter spells so we can resolve this. Can we? We can resolve one. Uh, that's that's probably fair. Cryptic counter draw. Might counter bounce the. Oh no, he, he hasn't played a land this turn yet. So there's no point. Once I find a scape shift, if I have a cryptic in hand uh, and Patrick is still stuck on a sixth land, I actually definitely uh, counterbalance one of your lands so I can uh, get my or so I don't get got by Dovin's veto. Yeah, because Dovin's veto is a stupid mistake of a card and should never have been printed. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hot take. Hot take. <laughs> that card's really good. But you know what card beats that card? Uh, Mind break trap. Narset's reversal. You're right. You just reversal your own spell, dude. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> you don't yeah. even. You play mostly creatures, man. You don't have to worry about that that much. <laughs> A two mana counter spell that can't be countered. It, it can only hit two. non creature spells, to be fair. Did you mean three quarters of the modern format? Look, my entire deck played five creatures. Six creatures uh, in the 75. I know. Take the scape shift. We have one, two, three. Do we have four mountains? I, I can't tell. I think that's... He has one, two, is that three, a steam four. Vents? Yeah, what is that's that? a steam vents. It is. Okay. I didn't, he I, has it, four it, mountains. Apart. Yeah, it would it'd be a breeding pool otherwise, and that's not a breeding pool art. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Nimble mongoose for uh, Teamer Zoo. <laughs> All right. We can, we can double spell here. Does he not have a counter spell to back up the... Uh... He doesn't, unfortunately. Like, I really wish Remand was just return target spell to its owner hand, owner's hand, draw a card, and not counter target spell. If that spell's countered this way, return it to its owner's hand. Sorry, say it again? I really wish Remand uh -huh. was just return target spell to its owner's hand, draw Oh, so card. it was like unsubstantiate? Yeah, so it was just unsub draw a card. Yeah. And then um, wasn't what, so it wasn't counter. The fact that it's counter is annoying. Repeal my own Narset. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> Wait, why is he paying an extra? He's paying a different way. The, oh, the Valka came in tapped. Okay. All right, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe that crazy. Uh, couldn't find Phil's Maverick list. Did you try texting Phil? Um, Now you can run Nimble Mongoose along your Delvers and the Coddles. Yeah, so you can play more bad creatures together <laughs> that don't synergize. I don't think you want to play Delver in a zoo deck. That's not a, the type of deck that that card really excels. No, you want to be playing, like, blue-blue blue, blue again. again. Twitch chat. It's blue-blue again, just so you know. Uh, I'm gonna mess exactly, you. that's the point. <laughs> Oh, I'll text Phil and see if I see if he uh, has it. I'm just gonna. I'm literally just gonna text the group chat. Oh, there's the veto. 
actually going to... Uh, there's a scape shift. He reveals he, it. He, he insta-casts Yeah, he, he baited <laughs> with a JTMS. <laughs> JTMS is the strictly worst four drop. <laughs> it doesn't win you the game. Scape shift wins you the game. What you? What is that? Foil Mobo? Yeah. I didn't even know those Is that from the, from, the, from the deck, right? From the Planeswalker deck? Uh, nice. Like, this one, he looks so nice and happy. Yeah, and then he gets And then buff. he gets freaking buff. All right, that's Robert Meadows taking it. Whatever. Patrick Nars says we're going to get the game two. Robert's going to bring in counterspells.deck. And Patrick's going to bring in counterspells.deck. And we're going to be here forever. Judging cast Nars out of blue man. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, this is probably a good time to talk about uh, the giveaway we have. What yeah. uh, what giveaway do we got there? All right, we have a two. We have two hangerback walkers being given away. I believe they're given away to the same person. Don't quote me on that. Um, I imagine it's probably the same person. Um, but it is 25 points per ticket. In order to enter, you can do exclamation mark, enter in chat right Quite. there. <laughs> Look at that. I bought one ticket. In order to enter, you need... 25 points. I, you can check our points by doing exclamation mark points. Wow, I have 1160 points. I'm 148 out of like 5,000 almost. Neat. Dick Dog bought 20 tickets. Wow, what a cool guy. Um, you can earn these points by subscribing. That'll get you 500 points, and every month that you subscribe in a row, you will get a multiplication of those 500. So if you subscribe, uh, prob I think Dick Dog's probably on like his 600th, I don't know. How long, how long have you been subscribed, Dig Dug? Seven a month. Dig Dug was subscribed for seven months, so he gets 3,500 points every... Or No, he'll get more points the next time. Um, we'll get a bunch more points. Uh, 50 points for following, one point for every one bit cheered, so you get a one-to-one -one bit to point ratio. Jeezy Pete's Dig Dug, 16,580 points. What the heck? <laughs> um... And you get five points for every ten minutes you watch the stream. Ten, minute, ten points if you're subscribed. So uh, gives gives subscribers an extra little edge on on the points and on our giveaways because we want to thank them. So if you want to give us a sub, that'll get you 500 points for your just for subscribing, and then it'll get you uh, more points accumulated as you uh, hang out with us uh, every night. You also get a uh, 50 points for your first follow. And don't forget that. So. If you are not following and you don't have enough points to enter, just give us a follow. That'll get you uh, 50 points, which is two tickets. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Silent Submersible. I thought this card was actually going to be, like, good. okay. Not, like, good, but I thought it was going to be okay. But Do you know why it's not? Cause because it, Mono Blue is really bad right now. Because <laughs> Blast Zone on one destroys that deck. Yeah. <laughs> Turns hey. out Blast Zone literally <laughs> ruined that entire deck. Yeah. <laughs> It's you just actually, put a Blast Zone into play and pop it, and they lose. It's <laughs> actually kind of tilting how much Blast Zone ruined that deck. Like it's, it's actually really upsetting. I, th I like it. That deck was super annoying. I love that deck. It Says the guy so playing fun. everyone's most handed standard deck. Are you talking to me or Luke? Wait, does... Uh, Ransom, uh, the giveaway is two Hanger Backwalkers. Yep, two Hanger Backwalkers. Uh, what deck? The Oh, me? Yeah, okay, so to be fair, I have Civic Nexus, but it's not very good right now because everybody's playing Esper and Thief of Sanity and uh, the new Teferi and Narset. So I just built uh, Mono Red because <laughs> it was like the Challenger deck plus, you know. Okay, look, first of all, Teferi's Civic Nexus is sick. I love that deck. Actually, I, I went like 301 with it last night because... Uh, I added the new Narset to it, and so I would just beat people down with 3-3 three, three lands that have Vigilance, and then when they tried to do anything, I would just you Nexus in response. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, new, uh, the new Nissa, not the Narset. Well, I was playing Narset also, but... Well, I was playing... Yeah, I'm playing both, but yeah. And then my sideboard plan was just to switch into, like, blue-green midrange, which was pretty sick. I had, like, a bunch of creatures postboard. Carney Keys. No, I don't. I don't have Carnage Tyrants. It was like two Crawl Harpooners, four Thorn Lieutenants, two Biogen uses a Kefnet, and I think those are all the creatures. But yeah, 
Why well, also you playing a one of net and a deck that plays turns is good. <laughs> wow. I was also coming playing from <laughs> me, who's I've gone like three one with taking turns every time since I put in Kefnets. <laughs> While before that, I've gone like mono like two twos and one threes. <laughs> I uh, I've four out a few times randomly with it. But <laughs> I also uh, decided to play a one of. Um, I always give a little bit of ASMR to the stream, and I hope everybody likes it. <laughs> I just want you guys to feel Dude. nice and warm and safe. <laughs> the, uh, the standard Tron deck looks actually pretty sick. Uh, you should be playing standard Ad Nauseam. No. I... I can't recommend that deck. <laughs> yes, you can. I cannot recommend that deck <laughs> yes, in good faith. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I really want. And that's someone, coming from me. Someone <laughs> should really be playing. Everyone should be playing that standard ad nauseum deck. I love it. It's so bad. Which one? The command the dreadhorde one or the the really bad one? No, the one with demon lord bells. Bells on the <laughs> No, <laughs> it's so bad. It loses to mono red, but it's good against everything else. No, it's not. Yes, it is. How do you beat some Nexus? Uh, you win before they play Nexus. You do not. <laughs> what is it? Okay, so you play the Wanderer, Demon Lord Belzenlock, and New Jace, and then you like, <laughs> and then you play like uh, them on that curve of Jace, Wanderer, Demon Lord Belzenlock, and then every single card in your deck is four, C four or three CMC or higher, whatever it is, and you just draw your entire deck plus Jace and win. Why isn't Robert playing Boggles? Because it's Robert and he likes to play Tamer's Game Shift. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the deck he plays. It's always Tamer Pile. Yeah. We've, uh, I'm assuming since we shocked, we have it. Yes, that isn't. Yep, there's an Ashiok. Ashiok. That is an Ashiok in his hand, uh, Paul. We're in the gate. Ashiok's so good. Yeah. The, uh, Turns out uh, Ashiok against Scape Shifts <laughs> is pretty good, too. What is the, the static? Is it you can't search? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, abilities your opponents control can't, can't cause, cause them to search libraries. Yep. Um, sounds bad. No, it's really good. Trust me. No. I'm a doctor. No. <laughs> Nothing Lucas said in the past three minutes has been truthful. Except wait, for how the deck works. Wait, you're a VP? What is that? VIP? I don't know. It means he's a very important person. They are a very important person. When did that happen? I don't know. Like, recently? I think you've been a VIP for a while. Is that like top fan? Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what that means. You should, uh, you should get get the uh, cheerleader board. Paul, why don't you have cheer number one? Why aren't you at uh, number one on our cheer board? Instead, we have intern of doom. Is he even in chat? He's not. Intern of doom isn't even in chat. Come on, Lillian Benders and last wait. No, Paul, never mind. Don't don't <laughs> spent two hundred and fifty on Japanese planeswalkers. Oh my god. Give me Paul. give me your Tamio. I need it. Give me your bank account. <laughs> what cycle of sweltering suns? Uh sick. Okay. Why are oh, we Oh, I need both your Tamios, please. Uh never mind. No one cheer. I can't kick Lillian Bender off of a uh, off of our bit thing. She's too nice of a lady. We have negate, dispel, cryptic. Are we cryptic bouncing a land? Yes. Yes. Bounce your hallowed fountain draw a card. We're not getting got by Dovin's veto. Dude, do we have win next turn? No, we can. Oh, uh, uh, but I, I want the Tamios. <laughs> I want to borrow them. <laughs> play Flooded Grove, say go. Flooded Grove, make sure you task for blue, blue. Shock. What Go. Shocking revelation. <laughs> Cryptic. <laughs> Bounce your hallowed fountain. Draw a card. Dispel it. Dispel it. We got a filter for blue, but we can dispel it. Oh, we're going to remand? Oh, uh, how, remand did he, my own. how did he filter that mana? I want to know. Was it blue, green, or blue, blue? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want his bank account. It's probably empty now. <laughs> You, okay, how about this? You, he still keeps his job, but you get the income. Ooh. Play 
play Steve. Wait, do we have Steve. a reason? Are we just going for it? If we ha if he has Dovin's veto, we're sad. Escape shift. Yeah. Are we? Oh, he's. You know what? Uh, you know what he's gonna get got by. All right. You know what he's gonna get got by? Angels of Grace. No, uh, boomerang. <laughs> boomerang. <laughs> Could you imagine that? Just your opponents playing scape shift, and your other opponents playing blue, or your, your opponents playing blue white control, and you're on scape shift, and you're like, oh, that's all right. A cool center blade. If they have a counter, I may as well go for it since I have this second copy. And then you go, scape shift, and they go, boomerang your land, so you don't have anything, and I take no da No, that's a lie. You don't. You take three damage. One of the land, the the land you bounce sees the five other lands. Yeah, but I always get confused about how like bouncing lands in Valakut works. I found that out. I didn't know that's how that works, but that's how that works. Apparently, the land you bounce sees Valakut, but the land you 